October, everybody loves a good scare this time of year, but you don't have to be a believer in the power of cinema to give you that thrill. Linda Cook here to talk to us about a couple of movies. Let's start with The Exorcist Believer. If the power of the critic <laughs> compels you, please skip this movie. I hate this movie so much. The Exorcist is one of my, William Friedkin's masterpiece, in my opinion. And a lot the original of other is a great movie. It's a great movie, yeah. and it scared the living daylights out of me. So, really, I was intrigued by the trailer of this movie. You know, you've got Ellen Burstyn again as Chris McNeil, and you've got young women terrorized by something, and you've got the tubular bells is playing. So I went into the, the theater thinking, oh, this might be okay. You know, maybe they've captured this. No, it's a really bad carbon, and I mean carbon copy, it the looks first like one. it from what I'm seeing here it's on the screen. It's terrible, and it's laughable, and it's two hours of this. Ellen Burstyn is in it for just a little while, just long enough for you to remember that the other one was a whole lot better. And then they <laughs> took the scares, which really were scares, from the first one and made sequences and references to them, but they don't scare anybody. The worst thing about this movie, Eric, is that it's the first of what is alleged to be a trilogy. Oh, no, no, oh, no more of this. Anyway, I gave it one star. All right, star, yeah, say, throw it up here. One, one star out of star. four. Please skip this movie. It is not worth your time. And just watch the first one again. Yikes. Yeah. All right, how about Reptile? You know, this one surprised me. But you really can't go wrong with Benicio Del Toro. He's one of those guys that's an undersung, terrific actor. And in this one, he plays a world-weary cop who, and I'm not kidding here, just wants to get his kitchen remodeled. Meanwhile, he has a murder to track down. And there are all kinds of suspects, including Justin Timberlake's character, that pop up along the way. This is a police procedural and kind of a thriller. I really like the way this is done. It's a little bit too long, but after seeing The Exorcist, that's okay. Um, I like Alicia Silverstone, and she plays Benicio Del Toro's very savvy wife. They are best friends and they work in tandem and I like to see a marriage like that depicted for a police officer here. Um, I won't tell you, of course, who done it, but um, there are some surprises along the way. It's, it takes its time getting there, but I thought it was worth it. This is only streaming on Netflix. Only for the grown-ups. Good and for a rainy Saturday. Exactly the time of year for this movie. Three out of four stars for me. All right. Excellent. Thank you so much for coming in and hating on one movie. I can do it again <laughs> next week if you want me to. <laughs> All right.